We continue to get more and more free speech on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Since Elon Musk purchased it, some of the most vile and disgusting figures have been unbanned. The most recent is conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Alex Jones unbanned from Twitter, immediately rehabilitated by promoting an interview with Elon Musk, by um, uh, participating in some kind of Twitter spaces event. Uh, with Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk doing an interview with Tucker Carlson. I'll just show you some of the things that he got up to almost immediately. Here is Alex Jones triumphant return to Twitter. Alex is back. The First Amendment. Less than a day after being reinstated to X, I was on Mario Nafal's number one X Spaces program. It had over 120,000 people watching at one time, more than 8 million watched it by the time it was over. Elon Musk came on for more than two hours, and I asked a lot of good questions. So officially, I was the guy getting interviewed, but I turned it around, made it about Elon Musk, because quite frankly, he's even more interesting than I am. We're going to be posting this interview with just my questions, cut down the full interviews, obviously on Mario's channel. We'll be posting it to X here in the next few hours. We'll be playing on my radio show and TV show tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com forward slash show. So for all the people that heard about Infowars, but didn't know what we really stood for because it was misrepresented. This is your chance to go to infowars.com forward slash show. So as you can see, he's using the opportunity to get back to the Twitter now X audience, tell them all about how great Alex Jones is, and he's going to then presumably, thanks to Elon Musk, pull in a much larger audience. Then posting also, you just go down, you see the stuff that he posted. He also has been interviewed by Tucker Carlson and what is clearly a uh, you know semi coordinated sort of thing to time out with when Alex Jones is back on the platform. Alex Jones getting the hero's welcome from Tucker as well. We're here with the world's most dangerous man, the most censored man in the English language. Right. But honestly, when you get him in front of an outhouse in the woods, he doesn't seem so dangerous. So fancy outhouse. <laughs> we have Isn't a that funny? class in the United States defined by its hatred. Now Tucker brings in Alex Jones as the hero to explain all of this ruling class stuff. Not its loves, not its hopes, but by its hatreds. They hate all kinds of people, large groups of people, the deplorables, the bitter clingers, America's entire blue collar population, the unfashionable people. They're hated by the people who run our country. But no one is hated more by them than a man called Alex Jones. Right. Alex Jones is the single most censored man in all American history. <laughs> he was the first media figure in our history to be completely erased in one day. There's never been a bigger victim than Alex Jones. Deplatformed. Alex Jones was deplatformed before it was a common term. And not just deplatformed, sued, attacked. They attempted to criminally charge him. What did Alex Jones do wrong? Alex Jones didn't rape anybody. He didn't loot Macy's. He didn't burn a police station. He didn't invent a fake cryptocurrency and loot pension funds. He didn't start a pointless war that made this country poorer and more disorganized. He didn't open the Southern border. No, Alex Jones had opinions that deeply rattled the people who run America. In fact, mm. rattled a lot of us. Everyone's so scared of him that they banned him. And I'll just confess that I first heard of Alex Jones when he questioned the official story behind 9-11. And I, speaking uh -oh. for myself, was deeply offended by this. I didn't take any time to find out what he was saying, but I was bothered. All by right. So listen, Tucker was wrong and Alex was right to question it. So, OK, I mean, listen, at this point, X has so destroyed what Twitter once was that I don't think Alex Jones going back on X is going to save X, right? There's a there's a two sided thing here. Do, who needs who more? Does Alex Jones need to be back on X or does X need Alex Jones? I think they both need each other and neither is going to be the other savior. But some of the concerns with putting Alex Jones back on X are obvious. Another platform on which to spread misinformation and disinformation. Uh, enabling, endorsing and signal boosting harmful views, undermining trust in media and institutions. The followers who will say, hey, if Alex is back on, then his views are, 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 are kosher and maybe I'll follow some of this stuff and incite harassment or violence at those that are 
uh, targeted by Alex Jones, setting a precedent when you welcome back Alex Jones, who's been uh, violating community guidelines everywhere in dangerous and disturbing ways. You're saying, hey, it's all welcome. Let's 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 make this a platform about this sort of thing. So I don't I'm not offended. Right. At this point, I post to Twitter once a week. I'm it, it's had no impact on the show. I've realized that essentially being ninety nine point nine percent off Twitter hasn't hurt the show in any way. In fact, we're growing faster than we have been in a while to some degree because we're getting closer to an election. The dangers lie in the potential to spread misinformation fundamentally validating these harmful viewpoints, and especially when you are glorified in the way that he's being glorified by Elon Musk, by Tucker Carlson and others. That's really the concern. And so Alex Jones is back. Hilariously, we now have a new incident called Pissgate, which, yes, Alex Jones is involved in, but it centers around Vivek Ramaswamy. Let's talk about that next. 